Breaking news in the crypto world, Bitcoin is making waves with a staggering $46 billion trade volume on March 5th, marking its highest level since 2021 as major exchanges like Binance, Coinbase and others are leading the charge, contributing to this unprecedented surge. The crypto market is buzzing with excitement and this monumental milestone could be a game changer, potentially paving the way for new millionaires. Stay tuned for more updates on this remarkable development, don't forget to subscribe, like and share and let's start. And we're starting off west as Michael Saylor is about to smash by 10,600 bitcoins for 700 million dollars. And if we add this to MSTR's current holdings at 193,000 bitcoins, we're looking at a grand total of 203,600 bitcoins. And for Saylor to get 1% of the supply of bitcoin, he will only need 6,400 more bitcoins or 422 million dollars more. Now, think about what happened when someone saw sold 1,000 Bitcoins yesterday. Consider the power of MSTR has with 203,600 Bitcoins. And yeah, if he dumped that supply on the market, we would get absolutely wrecked, but there is no incentive for that behavior and he would lose billions of dollars by doing that. Bitcoin has, na has not entered super cycle yet and still moving in golden bull. As remember, when I bo told you that 48,500 is start of golden bull and autumn high is matter of time only, you remember my words, my promise. How many times you got warned not to underestimate the power of the golden bull. And here we are. We were in a pre-bull run when we, we actually should have purchased more tokens. As wrong here, called short uh, from 30k was the target of 22 region. Uh, white is dumped from 30k, then we got uh, all other positions, the pre-bull run, second uh, pre-bull area, start of golden bull, and now the start of the super cycle might be heading right there, but we're just still waiting for it, and if it starts, it would be amazing, but it can also play out like this, and the short position might happen after all. Okay, let's go for more. People lose money with Bitcoin because they buy it on the hype. Don't study it and sell when it drops. They will happen over and over again and uh, we are going to have more people who buy it, see deep and sell. Then they are going to say these people did nothing to get rich but buy Bitcoin. No, Bitcoiners sacrifice hundreds of hours of their life to study how money works and why Bitcoin is the best form of money right now. Bitcoin broke the monthly resistance and is holding above it. I don't think the new all-time high we said yesterday will hold out for a very long time. More than $70,000 soon, don't get chopped up. As well as, historically, when Bitcoin breaks its autumn highs, a monster altcoins run is about to start. And it is just the time uh, that it might be different, but I feel like it's not. Uh, when Bitcoin breaks autumn high, we are going to see a huge altcoin season, possibly making a bunch of altcoins explode. Bitcoin is already back over $67,000 and I can already hear the bears crying. You never trade your Bitcoin people, you will lose everything over a greed. Won't be long until we are past 100000 Uncle Peter Schiff is fuming over. Earlier today, Bitcoin hit a new record high of over 69,200. About four hours later, the price collapsed down to 59,300. That's almost $10,000 per Bitcoin for an intraday drop of staggering 14.5%. Nothing that volatile can be described as being a safe haven or a store of value. Both gold and Bitcoin hit an all time high record highs today, but while gold ETFs also closed at a new all time record highs, the Bitcoin ETF all had their worst days since going public and dropping by over 8.5% in a day and over 14% intraday. Gold broke out, Bitcoin made a double top. Yesterday, Mark Cuban uh, said that he invests in Bitcoin and over uh, and over gold all day, every day. It sure looks like doing that yesterday was a huge mistake. And by the way, Bitcoin is back, so you need to understand it's volatile, but it's still safe. And I won't say it's safer than gold at the point we are in right now, but it is the better investment for sure. And it's a safe, better investment. Bitcoin to 100,000 is not that far away and we just need to reach that 1.618 uh, 
uh, resistance level, which is not that far away. We already had those pumps before and we're looking into the one again, possible breakout and possible explosion. New Bitcoin has now set an autumn highs against the 9 out of 10 top cryptocurrencies. As yeah, so there we go, the first one is Chinese Yuan, second one is United States Dollar, third one is Euro, then we got for Yen, Hot Sterling, South Korean Won, Indian Rupee, Canadian Dollar, and Hong Kong Dollar. And we are all better all of those. That's really great. The $1.3 trillion asset falls 14.5% in 5 hours and then mostly recovers within a day. Volatility like this is indicative of things just getting off the ground. Bitcoin is a 1.2, or I mean $1.3 trillion at all ascent while, while a whole life ahead of it and it's going way higher than that. Also, what do we have next? BlackRock bought 800 million of Bitcoin ETFs yesterday alone. Also, rule number one, you do not sell your Bitcoin. And rule number two, follow the rule number one. As like clockwork, we are heading to 69,000 and above we're gonna head because we already had such positions and we're probably getting for a new uh, for a new bull run for a new autumn highs and the new price explosions. Bitcoin went to 69,000, back down to 60,000, and now it's back up to 67,000. If you want this asset with 100% annual returns, you need to learn how to deal with the volatility that he comes along with it. If you don't, your Bitcoin will be taken from you. As well as we're going to talk about more um, about the Michael Saylor's gold rush, which will be in the next video, which is actually the interesting information that we'll have about uh, today. 46 billion Bitcoin smashes big milestone besides uh, autumn heights. So 46 billion dollars, what do we have there? According to crypto data research provider Kaiko, Bitcoin's rise to an autumn highs uh, has brought it to the major milestone in its trade volume, which has reached its highest level since 2021. Per Kaiko, Bitcoin trade volume crossed $46 billion on March 5th, its highest level since 2021, and Wu Blockchain citing Kaiko data gives a breakdown of this milestone as the overall spot trade volume of Bitcoin across all centralized exchanges surpassed $46.2 billion on March 5th, its highest level since 2021. Binance led the way with the $23.84 billion in volume, followed by Coinbase's $5 billion by bid for $29 billion. Okay, so 3.5 uh, $3 billion dollars, KuCoin at 1.5 billion, Upbeat at 1.4, and Kraken at 1.2 billion dollars. Last week, Bitcoin funding rates reached uh, their highest level since the autumn, uh, uh, since the ETF's launch in early January, indicating increased demand for bullish leverage. As Bitcoin set a new autumn high, Bitcoin hit an autumn high on several exchanges for the first time in more than two years, reaching 69,210 on Coinbase. As on Tuesday, the price of Bitcoin Bitcoin top 69,000 before the falling sharply as the losses intensified before the price started recovering and Bitcoin was last trading lower by 0.68% at $67,000. Bitcoin set its previous high uh, of the 69,000 on November 10, 2021, roughly a year before FTX's devastating collapse struck the crypto market in what some refer to as a crypto Lehman Brothers moment. And Bitcoin's rise to record high on Tuesday was part of a larger rally in 2024 with with other cryptocurrencies and financial vehicles linked to Bitcoin climbing alongside it. So that's kind of all the information we got on today's video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you in the next one, and peace.